and already the presence of the higher celestial realms of light, the divine coded radiant codes of light, the straling light particles flow in and through each and every one connecting us heart and mind into the singularity of purpose and the highest possible service as we represent the children of light the children of light upon the earth that very real part of us that has not forgotten our cosmic origins. And as we walk upon this earth now in the recapitulation of bringing forth once again the expanded knowledge and wisdom coded deep within our DNA, coded deep within our atomic and subatomic levels coded deep into each cell consciousness within the physical body. Because the cell consciousness is the consciousness of our own divine earth mother and her planetary role, her highest service and her place in the divine plan. And so this interconnection moves in and through us. It is as if we have the nervous system like the great roots of the plant kingdom. It moves in all directions as it seeks the higher knowledge, the higher wisdom, the higher answers. And see here now in your spiritual eye, the symbol of the divine heart with wings, one on the right and one on the left. It is the higher heart of compassion that seeks to anchor deep into each and every human soul and spread throughout the world and beyond the world into the very solar logi, beyond the solar logi into great solar logi that are part of the galactic family. See clearly in your spiritual eye as this network of straling light moves beyond your physical body network system into the mental and into the emotional, moving in all directions for you are the glue between heaven and earth. With each and every holy sacred in-breath and out-breath, you hold the winged heart of unconditional love transcending beyond that of the earth for it is the cosmic heart of the Christ. It is the cosmic heart of the Christ, the divine Maitreya in its return back, back into the liberation, back into the next evolutionary steps of a humanity in all life upon this world and beyond. As the very light rays of the central logi of our own Helios Vesta. As even it 
increases in its light intensity and its ascension process. And in this ascension process, for each celestial body is a consciousness as each life form is a consciousness ever moving towards the divine. And for those who are awakened and awake can see the signs of the higher celestial beings the messages that they send, the messages that guide. And so here now, as we see the winged divine heart moving in and through us, moving into our communities, our families, our country, our world, our solar system, and throughout the great sons of our own galactic mother and beyond. We now breathe deeply the divine sacred energy of freedom. And with each and every holy sacred in breath and out breath, the higher divine energy of freedom for freedom is a divine inheritance of the autumn Kadman for the human family dispersed throughout the cosmos. And in particular, there is the focus of the humanity intertwined in galactic interactions the cosmic history that brings us to this point of a sense of true liberation, a liberation that extends beyond a physical, mental, and emotional world. For this energy of freedom is inherent. It is in each and every sentient being given from a benevolent, God, El El Elyon, the freedom to be and express. And in this freedom, it is the expansiveness of the winged heart that moves throughout the earth as our own heart sprouts wings in the sense in the integration, in the embracing of freedom, divine, sacred, holy freedom. And all sense of that word, for it is an integral part of the compassionate heart. The compassionate heart that understands the diversity and the multitude of the divine that cannot be contained that cannot be just one thing, but multi-layered and all expressions of the divine from the macrocosm to the microcosm is all sacred, is all holy. And so we see clearly as we feel the energy moving in all directions as we are the guideposts, the holders of the winged heart. And we send this divine freedom, the grace and the gift from the highest celestial realms of light, from the great Shabala worlds, the great crystalline worlds, the great paradise worlds, this energy of divine freedom, that it now touches the hearts of all sentient beings. And sentient beings upon the earth 
and beyond the earth. The ability to be the expression of each individual's authentic self. The ability for each individual to express that part of the divine. With the understanding that it's all symbiotic and interrelated to one on the other that each sentient being is unique, but yet part of the whole. As a great kaleidoscope of color or tones, each creates a harmonic that brings it into a whole other level of expression. And so we breathe the sacred in-breath and out-breath, and as we do, we send forth the winged heart of compassion and unconditional love to a thirsty, thirsty, thirsty world. That this frequency of the higher divine frequency of freedom that has been lost in constricted, crusted thought forms of control. The winged heart comes to set free all those who have forgotten, all those that are burdened, all those that are constricted. And so we breathe the divine breath into this winged heart as it becomes more powerful, more radiant, and moves in all directions, touching the hearts and minds of all humanity upon the earth, of all sentient beings upon the earth, and beyond the earth. For the interrelationship on planet and off planet is integrated. And so the higher galactic picture must be observed. And in this consciousness of the winged heart of freedom will begin to unchain and unlock energetic codes beyond the earth complex that have impact upon the earth. And so we bring forth our divine image and consciousness. We remember the power that we hold as divine co-creators. And wherever the sources come from, the time of great golden keys to unlock time locks that have burdened and constricted Earth Mother and all life. That time has come to an end. And so we send forth the breath of freedom divine freedom to be your authentic divine self, to be that tone and that color that only you can be and express the divine, unconstricted. And so we hold this frequency of the winged heart of freedom coming from the highest celestial realms of light. In the great masters of light, in the greater understanding of freedom and what it is, its grace. 
and the time has come for this great liberation. The liberation of constriction in consciousness, the liberation of the physical body moving beyond the constrictions of faulty laws, of faulty manipulations of the human consciousness, a great rising of the phoenix, the great rising of light, bringing forth freedom that ripples through the cosmos. And in this freedom anchors the true trinity that transcends the duality of extreme polarities. As the winged heart brings all things to center, showing the way forward. So we hold this energetic now in the greater vision and understanding and wisdom of the higher thought forms of true freedom, true freedom. And for many it is known and for many it is unknown, but it is and continues to be a presence in the higher realms of light where diversity abounds and new creations unfold all with the grace of freedom to be, the freedom to be. With each and every holy sacred in-breath and out-breath, you empower and breathe life into the heart of freedom. Your divine and sacred breath blows it throughout the earth. Your power, your service, your grace, beloved, move this freedom across the earth and beyond the earth for the constriction, for the manipulation extends beyond the earth. And you take your positions as cosmic galactic beings of radiant light and great power. Your consciousness, your holy sacred breath creates and so we come together beloveds with you the representations of the children of light upon the earth who have not forgotten that with each and every holy in breath and out breath you breathe power and great light into the winged heart of freedom As great Elohims, you move forth the intention and attention upon freedom. And even in those dynamics of where the physical body can be constricted, the consciousness cannot. We come together to breathe freedom until the multi-layered expressions we see freedom ringing and being and breathing in the most constricted liberating at the very minimum beloved consciousness Consciousness so much and so high and so liberal and free that it is beyond the constrictions of the physical body. It is where great poets 
We're great artists. We're great musicians. Great thinkers. Holy saints. Prophets. Mystics. Touch. Go. And be. So we continue to breathe the breath of freedom throughout the entire cosmos, reaching all levels, all dynamics. We are the children of light who have not forgotten and now step into our power. The reason of our birth upon the earth to bring forth the divine sacred plan in the fullness of unconditional love and the limitless light. We are clear and we understand. This is the movement, the power, the source to bring a humanity upon the earth and beyond into the higher alignment of the great in-breath of El Elyon, the Most High God, and the Ain't Sof Or Light, the Source Light, the Limitless Light. And through the Cosmic Christ and the Cosmic Maitreya, the winged heart of freedom is boundless And it touches each and every heart of all beings. And we hold this sacred moment. We hold this sacred space with each and every in breath and out breath that expands and radiates beyond measure a great galactic wave of the illumined heart of freedom moves throughout the cosmos, beloveds. It moves as a great wave, a great cosmic wave throughout the local solar system, but in all solar systems. It moves out through all the great suns. It moves out throughout the whole Hum Nam Ku, Galactic Mother, a great wave of the winged heart of freedom. Hold your positions.
hold your positions as this great galactic wave of freedom moves throughout the cosmos. And beloved, it says you hold the winged heart of freedom. So too that part of you is reignited and with it comes the guidance and the direction and the wisdom. Breathe into this thought of the divine freedom that is the source of unconditional love expressed through you and the birthright of all living beings. And now the thought of the return comes and as such, the energy begins to step down. And as we begin to draw in our electromagnetic field, so too does the myriad of the Amishadai, the family of light that has held the spark of freedom begin to draw in their electromagnetic field, ever connected, ever integrated, even as the winged heart of freedom continues to move in and through us in the days and weeks and months and years to come. May you can be that energetic frequency that dismantles construction, control, and power. For abuse of power never, ever wins out. And so now we prepare ourselves as we see once now the winged heart of freedom goes back to its source. But we are forever touched and it is our guiding grace upon this world and beyond. And so on account of three, we will prepare ourselves to be back to be awake and to be alerted and grounded. One, two, take a deep breath in, and three, we are back, awake, alert, and we are grounded.